Hi Virgo, welcome to Willow Oak. I am here to do a reading for you. This is a general reading, so please only take what resonates and leave the rest behind. You might check your other placements for a more complete picture or if this reading doesn't resonate with you, okay? Let's see what we have here. Patience, oh boy. <laughs> Okay, it's saying time for patience. And patience doesn't always mean a challenge, you know. Patience is a time of waiting, right? Sometimes it can be a blessing. It all depends on all the variables. So let's see what else comes up. Be at home. All right. This could almost be seen as having patience as well, depending on how you look at it. But this be at home can mean either literally be at home, or most likely it is being at home within your own skin. Okay. You need to be able to go within and be content, happy, fulfilled. If you need comfort, you should be able to go within and provide that for yourself. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying, you know, don't go to your support system, etc. I'm just saying it's very important for you to be comfortable within yourself. Okay? And the same goes for happiness. You should be able to go within and find your happiness. So, both of these, to me, are totally linked because where does patience come from? It comes from within. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what else we have. death. Okay. And now that, that's not like, you know, scary stuff. What this is saying is you're transforming out of one energy and into another. Okay. It's just saying like death to the old and the beginning of the new. So you are transforming into something new, a new energy. It could be a new beginning, right? Maybe you're getting ready to start something new and you're having to have a little bit of patience and learn how to have that patience. Here you have dream talk. So let's read about this. Your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams is just one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages, and more. So this is emphasizing dreams. So there is some part here in what's going on with you that has to do with your dreams. So, um, if you can remember them, try to pay attention to what they're saying to you. And of course, dreams are full of symbolism, right? So um, the meaning behind a dream is oftentimes not a literal thing. So pay attention to your dreams and see what's coming through because there's something here that has a message for you. Okay? So, so far, it's saying here that you're changing. You're getting out of one energy and going into another. And you might very well find signs and synchronicities and help through your dreams. Here, being at home within yourself and here having patience. So, yes, they can all work together quite well. Mm-hmm. 
maybe there's potentially something you're wanting to hurry up and do and you're needing to learn how to slow down go within find the patience because it will happen in the universe's time not ours sometimes oftentimes the two you know coincide they go quite well together sometimes we do find ourselves having to be patient ah beautiful okay this is saying right here that you are done somewhere going on to where you want to be where abundance and happiness and security and love are there for you okay and this isn't saying anything challenging has happened it's just saying you're going to where your happiness is okay but it's saying you might have to have a little bit of patience there might be a little bit of a wait time or you might have to learn something in order to get this to happen or go through the you know some process Okay, well, these just wanted to jump out, didn't they? And they're all beautiful. Yay, I love it when that happens. And uh, something to just notice before I go into this. Be at home. Look at the coloring as compared to this. They have many of the same colors. And even here, the word is on top of a green color that you can find in here and in here. So I think there might be some link here where you need to figure out how to be at home within yourself, even when it includes having patience. And then this can come into being. There could be something with that. But now be at home, it's saying a wish fulfilled. Take inspired action by being your authentic self, by being you, okay? And you will share in the gifts and blessings from the universe. And, you know, that sounds potentially easy enough, but sometimes it's very hard to present our true selves to the world or even to ourselves. But that's what it's saying. Your wish is coming true. Okay, which is beautiful but you do need to be your true self and it's bringing you in a new beginning which right here we see you're changing it out of one energy and into a new energy which is right here one of happiness love and joy and here you have the two of cups and the two of cups talks about having a loving relationship an unconditional loving relationship with another okay and typically this would be anybody it could be romantic family co-worker anybody like that but this reading to me is so much about self that maybe this is talking about you and your higher self or you having this beautiful unconditional love with you and for me this reading would lean more towards that, but it could be either, okay? But if it is with yourself, that's just beautiful. Well, either way, it's beautiful, isn't it, to have an unconditional love with another. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Wands, which is talking about you having this new beginning that you're passionate about. So, not only is it one, move that down just a little, that is filled with love, happiness, and joy. It's also something that's your passion. Beautiful. Okay, let's get a card for death. Or transformation. Ah. Aha. Ah, now this is interesting okay this is a tower moment which is very interesting because here 
I've, I've felt this very kind of slow, needing patience, methodical kind of working your way through things. This is a tower, okay? And what towers mean are abrupt change. They can be tiny, they can be big, self-imposed, happen to you, um, challenging, positive. The only thing in common is they are abrupt and create change. And it's coming out right under death. So it, it's perfect, right? Perfect clarification. But what this is saying is abrupt change. So it might very well be, here you are having patience, going through this, you know, paying attention to your dreams, learning about yourself, finding comfort and love within yourself preparing to go on this journey, which could literally be a journey, but it, it's definitely finding your happiness. Okay, so here you are, being patient, going through all this, and then boom, <laughs> it changes. So that's what this is saying, that you're putting in all this effort, beautiful effort, mind you, because this will only serve you very, very well. And the way this is reading is, once you get to this certain point, that sweet spot of being in balance and understanding, it will change quickly, okay? And at the bottom of the deck from taking that, you have the Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands is a learning energy. And maybe that has to do with patience. The Page of Wands is enthusiastic, ambitious, they want to start this new thing extremely bad. They want to do it now. It's very hard for them to hold themselves back because they want this so much. So that could be part of this tower, you know, because this is, if they had their way, they would make this uh, change, start this new beginning right now. And it is coming out with this column, which is saying abrupt change. So this could very well be part of this. Or it could be part of why you're needing to have patience. Mm -hmm. But since it's coming out in this column, it might very well be saying, yeah, you're not going to be a master of whatever this is, but this abrupt change is coming because you've reached the point where you can create the change and you just can't stand to wait any longer. You gotta do this thing. So you've had a few different cards about having a new beginning. Mm hmm. So a new beginning is definitely coming into your life. You had the Ace of Wands, Death, the Tower. The Tower creates change, abrupt change. The over here, Ace of Cups, new beginning. Here, moving on to your happiness. So this has got, whoa, <laughs> that just shot right over there. A lot of change. And this landed right on these two where you're moving on to your happiness and your wish fulfilled okay beautiful okay this is clarifying the dream talk so let's read this one more time your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams it's just one of many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages, and more. In here, they have communicate, right? You have the Page of Swords, which is a learning energy. And one of the things that this represents is communication. So this is talking about you learning how to think clearly and communicate clearly. And this light bulb, or these light bulbs, can be like having this aha moment. But here it's saying you are learning how to interpret your dreams, how to understand the communication, which is beautiful. 
And here you have the high priestess. This is so synchronistic. I love this. The high priestess is psychic and intuitive. Not always is everything revealed with her, though. But putting these three together, it's saying use your psychic abilities, your intuition, and learn how to communicate, how to understand, how to think clearly when it comes to interpreting your dreams because many, if not all, of your answers lie right here. Okay? Beautiful. Gives me chills. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck, you have the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles is making reference to you being very happy and content with your abundance, with your pentacles, with your life. And when you look at this, these are the pentacles. Look over here. It looks like she's holding a pentacle, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. So, covering this quickly, and then we'll get some cards from the universe. It looks like be at home means within yourself. And you're needing to have some patience because you are doing something, you are learning it, and that oftentimes, if not most times, takes a little bit of time. And it's not saying how much time. It could be a day, a week, a month. This is totally up to you, right? But you are transforming out of the energy you're in into a brand new energy that's beautiful. You have um, the Ace of Wands, which is talking about you transforming into something you're passionate about. And here it's something that you love, that you want, that brings happiness and joy. Okay? And so as far as the tower goes, if it's, I, it's definitely positive, I'm sure. But is it self-imposed or is it happening to you? I think this is the second time during this group of readings that I've said this. I think it's both. And I don't think I've ever said that before. But because this is going on internally and it has to do with you and the spiritual side of things, right? The physical side of you is involved and the spiritual side. So it could be the spiritual side actually creating this or the physical or both, okay? But you are changing. You're moving on into this beautiful new beginning. And apparently your dreams are a very important part of this, of your ability to understand what's going on and put into action what you need to put into action. And here it says you're going to be able to do this with no problem because you're learning how to interpret, understand, and you're using your psychic abilities and your intuition to do it. Just a beautiful reading. Mm -hmm. So be prepared for change. A beautiful change where you are going to be very happy with your abundance. And abundance includes anything that you consider abundant. Pentacles, health, happiness, security, whatever it is that you consider abundance. Okay? Let's see. And the patience part, I think that's really up to you because this is a very personal change. You are the one that has your dreams, right? You are your own home in this respect. So it's a very personal thing. So it's up to you as to how long this is going to take, pretty much, mm -hmm. between you and your higher self. Okay. Love this. Beautiful new beginning, but pay attention to those dreams because something is going to be coming through that's going to help you mm -hmm. make this change. And you could take it a step further and say, even in your waking hours, pay attention to signs and synchronicities, okay? Let's see what we have. <laughs> Another new beginning. Beautiful. 
Okay, this one is a new beginning. It's like a whole new way of thinking. You know, you're parting the clouds. The way you were seeing, you will no longer be seeing. It's a whole new way of seeing things, which is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Absolutely beautiful. So that makes another new beginning. Okay. And we have the lovers and the page of pentacles. The page of pentacles, like the page of swords, is a learning energy. This is where you are learning and you want to create a new beginning. <laughs> right? Okay. And it can have potentially have to do with a financial opportunity. But it does not have to. But it is you learning and wanting to have a new beginning. Here is the lovers. This can talk about meeting somebody and having this beautiful romantic relationship. But it can also be choices. Either one. Potentially both. So this can mean a couple of different things, right? Choices. And I can see this filled with choices. It's all up to you how you go about this. But it can mean potentially that when you have this new beginning, you might very well meet somebody and have a beautiful romantic relationship. It could be either or or both. Okay. So beautiful reading. Mm -hmm. Amazing reading actually. Okay. And now, when I started this series, or this group of readings, I just felt called to do this. It's kind of unconventional, but since I was called to do it, I thought, you know, I needed to. And it was to take one card at the end of the reading from this deck, and just something for you to ponder. It might apply to this reading, and it might not. Okay, so far, um, all of them have really, I've been able to tie them in very well. This one, not so much. It says uh, Celtic, but you do have a cross here. So it might be, you know, it could be um, the transformation. It could be the spiritual side of things. For some, it could be your uh, genealogy, your genetics. It could be something specific within this culture. And um, like I said, I was called to just put this out here and you know, say, ponder this, give this some thought. So this is totally up to you if you want to or not. But if you want to, you know, it might be the imagery. It might be the word. It might be all the above. Like I said, it could be about your genetics. It could be about belief systems. Only you will know. But yeah, so if you would like to take part in this, give this some thought. And like I said, it is a cross. Okay? And there is the circle here. And, you know, which is pentacles. So... It have to do with spiritual side of things, which I do feel like it does have to do with the spiritual side of things. But maybe something within the Celtic culture. How's that? Within that culture. Maybe the something to do with the religious aspect. Maybe not. But since there's a cross, I would say probably. But anyway, if you would like to take part in this, give this some thought and see if you find connections here because I would venture to say there could very well be connections here somewhere for you at least some of you okay all right beautiful reading expect this wonderful change have a little patience
find comfort within yourself and pay attention to your dreams okay let's get a chart We have scissors. Mm hmm. And um, some of these charms are very whimsical, but even the whimsical ones, I can definitely see to me what's going on with this is you are cutting out a part of your life that will not or does not serve you. You know, here it's learning how to be at home within yourself. How have you been? Have you been able to be at home within yourself? If not, to me, this would be saying that you're cutting that out. You're getting rid of it. And there, you've had so many cards of transformation that this, to me, fits in perfectly. Right? Put them here. Yeah. You're getting rid of what does not serve you and going to this beautiful beginning. Thank you so much. I really hope this helps. And I think it's a fascinating reading, by the way. Don't forget to pay attention to your dreams. Much love. Bye.